Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. If it's the first time here, my name is Francesca, hello, and here on my channel I post Sims 4 speedbuild videos. So in today's video I'm going to be building a cottage for a spellcaster who is also into jewelry making and is also a gemologist and I'm building in the world of Glimmerbrook which is the world that comes with the game pack Realm of Magic and I'm building on a 30 by 20 lot. This is the only empty lot that comes with this world and it's called the Glimmerbrook Watch. This house ends up having two bedrooms and one bathroom and it's built for a single mom and her kid. So basically I was thinking that the single mom is the spellcaster and her kid also wants to become a spellcaster when they grow up, just like their mom. But the main reason why I decided to build this cottage is because I wanted to build something using the Crystal Creations stuff pack. So, in case you didn't know, The Sims released a new stuff pack last week, which is called, as I said, the Crystal Creations stuff pack. And it's really cool because with this new pack, your Sims can craft their own jewelry. And then they can also sell the jewelry that they had crafted so they can make some money. They can also decide to gift the jewelry to other Sims. They can also craft a ring and then use that ring that they had crafted to propose to another sim, which is really cool. And then with this pack, your sims can also summon the Green Reaper. So it's really cool. I love the gameplay part of this pack. I think it's really creative, the fact that you can craft your own jewelry and you can choose the design, you can choose what type of jewelry you want to craft. It's really creative, but I haven't done much gameplay yeah, because I was more focused on furnishing and building this house, so I, I didn't have the chance to do a lot of gameplay. I did a little bit of gameplay when I was playtesting this house. So by the way, this house is fully playtested. I didn't run into any problems. And I was playtesting this house, the only little thing that I had encountered was that basically my sim wouldn't walk on the other side of the bed so they wouldn't use the other side of the bed and that was because the chest of drawers that I placed down was a little bit too close to the bed so that was the only little problem that I had encountered when I was playtesting this house but the rest of the house works completely fine and yeah so basically as I was saying I really love the this new pack but I really love the fact that we have some new furniture which looks really good I'm in love with the new wallpaper and the wallpaper that comes with the new pack is basically what inspired this house so when I first saw the wallpaper I was like I need to build something using this wallpaper and I have to use it everywhere and that's what I did because when I move on into the inside of the build you're gonna see that I used the new wallpaper pretty much everywhere and that wallpaper is basically the one that's got like the moon and some gems and some stars on it and to me that wallpaper is so witchy so it's giving me like witchy vibes and I thought it was perfect for a spellcaster house so that's why I decided to build a spellcaster house in the world of Glimmerbrook also because I never built anything in this world before for some reason I don't really build anything for like spellcasters or like anything in Glimmerbrook also because the lighting in Glimmerbrook is not so good so if you don't have like G shade or reshade the lighting in this world is not so good so I have like G shade so the lighting is a little bit better and in case you're wondering what G shade preset I use I'm going to link everything in the description box below because I can't remember the name of the preset or like the name of the person who create the preset so I'm really sorry but I can't remember it but I'm gonna leave everything in case you're curious to know in the description box below but yeah as you can see the main structure of the build has already come together 
and I'm now doing a little bit of landscaping in the front. I do want to mention all the windows that I used because I was so proud with like the window combination. So basically I used this big window from the Realm of Magic game pack and I decided to go for this watch that's got like a drawing on the glass because we have like a plain swatch but we also have this swatch which has got like some drawing on it and it looks really cool it looks so whimsical and as I was saying before I think that the crystal creations stuff pack goes very well with the realm of magic game pack because a lot of the stuff from the crystal creations stuff pack looks like some stuff from the realm of magic game pack but also looks like some stuff from the paranormal stuff pack so i used these three packs a lot for this house because i thought that they go very well together so basically when i saw the stuff from the crystal creations stuff pack i immediately thought that i had to build something for spellcaster or like at least something that would look like cottagey or more like witchy so that's what i decided to do and the reason why is that i was inspired by the new pack and the stuff that comes with a new pack but as you can see right now i'm finishing off the landscaping in the front of the house and i forgot that i was talking about the windows i get so confused when i record this voiceovers but basically I was talking about the windows so yeah i used this window from the realm of magic e game pack and then i also used another window from the same pack that i placed down in the back where the bump out is and then in terms of windows i also used a couple of windows from the get together ep and also basically the windows that you see me placing down where the chimney is they are from the cottage living ep i love the idea of having like a big chimney for a cottage i thought that it was a must for this house and i love the way this big chimney looks in the front of the house and then i also used a window from the castle estate kit and then in terms of wallpaper i used a wallpaper from the castle estate kit and then i used some stone from the get together ep and also the other wallpaper that i used is from the get together ep i love the combination of these three wallpapers i think they look very good together and then in the front i also decided to create like a pathway using some stones from the base game i love the idea of having like a pathway made of stones because to me it's so cottagey and i do that a lot but i just really love the idea the only thing is that i had to cut it out a little bit because it took me ages to do it because i had to place down all those small stones and i had to like size them up size them down based on like the size that i needed so it took me a really long time that's why i decided to cut it out and then in terms of landscaping i decided to go for a lot of bushes and flowers from the base game and i decided to go for like the purple flowers because to me it was a must you know to have purple flowers for this house because i don't know purple to me is the color of like witches and spell casters for some reason so i decided to go for purple flowers for that reason and then in the front of the house i also decided to basically place down some fences from the cottage living ep but they are like debug fences and i like i like the fact that those fences come in like small pieces and then you can basically put all those pieces together and create like a normal fence and i love the fact that one piece is like rounded a little bit so you can have like a little rounded area i love it so much and then on like the small columns i place down some lighting so in the night we have some light as well and i think that's pretty much it for the front of the house i'm gonna go back to the front kind of halfway through the video to place down some more stuff because 
I forgot to place down a couple of things in the front and in the back as well so basically when I was doing the exterior of this house I was kind of rushing a little bit exterior because I was so excited to move into the inside of the house to start furnishing the interior because I wanted to take a look at all the different items from the new pack I wanted to use them so I was so excited that I was rushing a little bit the exterior and that's why I forgot a couple of things so the things that I forgot are to place down some low line bushes on the trellis that I did basically I don't know if you could see before where the two bump outs in the back are there is like kind of this some columns and where the door is the back door is so we have trellis there but I forgot to place down the low line bushes to kind of make the trellis look a little bit more kind of nice because I play, basically used the low line fence from the base game to create the trellis but I completely forgot to place down the bushes but, and I also forgot to furnish the greenhouse and so you're not going to see me furnishing the greenhouse because I decided to not furnish it on the screen on screen because I thought that it would have been too long the video otherwise and also I thought that it would get a little bit too repetitive because I feel like that every time I'm doing the back garden I always use the stuff from the greenhouse even kit and that's the same stuff that I always use in greenhouses anyway so I felt like it was getting a little bit too repetitive because in every single build I use the stuff from the greenhouse even kit and I didn't want to like do it again so I thought to you know cut it out but anyway, as you can see right now, I moved on into the inside of the build. Also, I forgot to mention that in the back, I also placed down the washing line from the laundry stuff pack. And I thought it was so cute there because obviously this house doesn't have a laundry. So I decided to place down that laundry line in the back garden and also I placed down a bench from cottage living i wanted to fit a table with an umbrella but there wasn't enough space because i placed down so many flowers and so many bushes that there wasn't space for a table and then i think it's pretty much it for the back garden also i want to mention that i don't know if you remember but kind of in the beginning i was placing down some roof decorations on top of the roof basically i'm gonna delete them because i didn't like them when i was taking the screenshots i thought they looked a little bit too fancy i i didn't like them i thought that they made the house look too fancy and i wanted to go for like a more cottagey vibe so i decided to delete them but as you can see right now i'm furnishing the inside of the build and i started furnishing the entryway and right now i moved on into the living room but in the entryway i decided to use the new side table i love that table so much it looks so good and then i cluttered it up using some stuff from different packs for example we have the jar of candies from the paranormal stuff pack we have the box with the crystals in it from the new pack we have some candles we have a lot of like random items and then we have some shoes i think in the, in the, the entryway as well and I think that's pretty much it. One thing that I did in the entryway was to basically place down this door from the Cottage Living EP and I tried to make it seem as if the door is open. So what I did was to place down an archway. Basically that archway leads you into the kitchen but what I did, I basically placed down an archway and then I drew a wall and then on the wall I placed down the door and then I deleted the wall. So in that way the door looks like it's open and I thought it was really cool and then I also placed down the rug from the cats and dogs EP I love that rug so much and then in the in the entryway I also placed down the umbrella thingy because I always place that down for some reason in every entryway that I do and then I also decided to go for the basically the front door is from the cottage living ep and i completely forgot to place down the front door in the beginning so when i was doing the floor plan i was like something is missing here and then i realized that it was the front door because basically i don't know if you could see but in the beginning you see a front like not a front door but a door and that's not the front door it's like a second door that leads you directly into the kitchen but that's not the main door. The main door basically is where the big archway is. I don't know if you remember, but in the beginning, I placed down like this big archway from, I think, the Jungle Adventure game pack. And that's where the front door is. The front door is not 
the one that's like on the right hand side if you know what i'm talking about but yeah anyway as you could see basically before i was doing the living room and i'm really happy with the way the living room turned out so if you could see in the living room i placed down the new couch and decided to go for the that kind of green swatch because it matches with the counters that i used in the kitchen and then i also decided of course to use the wallpaper from the new pack i've used that wallpaper basically everywhere but in different swatches so in the living room i decided to use the black swatch then in the kitchen i decided to use the gray swatch and then i think that in the kids room i used the blue swatch and then in the mom's room i decided to go for the gray swatch as well but in the entryway instead i decided to use bricks just to kind of change things up a little bit and have a little bit more texture throughout the house but yeah in the living room i also decided to go for the fireplace from the realm of magic game pack because that was the perfect house for that fireplace because normally i don't use that fireplace i never used it before because it's not a fireplace that fits into your like normal suburban family homes right so this was my chance to use this fireplace and i decided to you know take it and it looks really cool like i love the fact that we have like crystals in that fireplace and when you light it the fire is not like normal fire but it's like blue so it looks very cool and then also in the living room i decided to place down a chest table with some chairs i also used the new rug which comes in so many different swatches that i didn't know which one to choose but i also used the other like the same rug but in another swatch in the mom's bedroom and then also in the workshop room which i'm gonna furnish in a bit and then in the living room i think that's pretty much it oh yeah i think i mentioned the couches yeah i mentioned the couch but basically what i wanted to mention is that i decided to place down some pillows on top of the couches and those pillows are from the modern luxe kit however i decided to go in the beginning for a creamy swatch but when i was taking the screenshots i noticed that that swatch was a little bit too light for the room because that room is kind of dark so we have like the dark wallpaper the dark fireplace so when i was taking the screenshots i decided to change the swatch and i decided to go for a black swatch for the for the pillows so they're not in the cream swatch anymore but as you can see right now i'm furnishing the kitchen so in the kitchen i decided to go for this counter that's from the vampire game pack and i decided to go for that particular swatch because as i said before it matches with the couch in the living room and then i decided to use the stove from the cottage living ap and then i decided to basically also use this fridge from the base game which is not like a proper fridge i know what you would call it but it's like a little bit different from like a normal fridge and to me it looks so cottagey for some reason and then i basically cluttered up the counters using a lot of like different objects i tried to you know make the kitchen so cluttered because i was thinking that for example i placed down some jars from the dine out game pack and i was thinking that in those jars the mom keeps like some ingredients for her potions so yeah i was trying to make it as cluttered as possible with a lot of like random items that would seem as if they are like ingredients for the potions for the spells i also wanted to place down a lot of plants in this house and that's why i also decided to use the curtains for, from the plant kit which has like all the leaves is made out of leaves and i thought that that curtain was perfect for you know this whimsical vibe that i was going for with this house and then i think that's pretty much it for the kitchen i also decided to place down the bird cage in the kitchen because i don't know i thought that maybe they can have a little bird or something like that also I was thinking that they have a cat and that's why i basically placed down a i know i don't think i did it I did it here but off screen I decided to place down a cut tree in the dining room because my idea was that they have a cat 
but for some reason I completely forgot to place down the bowls for the cat and the cat tree but I really wanted to have a cat for this household so I did that off screen so basically I placed them down in the dining room but I did that off screen when I was taking the screenshots because I remembered then but as you can see right now I'm furnishing the workshop room so this room is my favorite room because i could go all out with the new pack as you can see so basically i decided to place down the bookcases from the new pack and i love those bookcases so much especially the one with the ladder and then i basically cluttered them up using a lot of random objects we have the statue from the modern lux kit i also placed down next to the bookcase the new chair that we've got with the new pack and one thing that i don't really like about the bookcase is that all the books look like the same and maybe it's that gray swatch maybe the other swatches are different but i don't like the fact that the books look like the same but that's the only problem that i have with that bookcase and then i also place down obviously the kind of crafting table so with that table your sims can craft the jewelry and i really like the lighting in that room because we have all those windows from the realm of magic game pack and we have a lot of lighting coming in and then i also used some of the shelves from the new pack and on the shelves basically i'm talking about like those cubes glass cubes that i placed down i think i placed down four of them next to the crafting table and inside them i placed down like some they're like some i don't know what you call them but they're like for exposing like all the jewelry basically all the rings all the earrings so and they're from obviously the new pack and then i also placed down the also the other shelf basically that the one that's kind of supposed to be on the wall but i place it down like not really on the wall just against the wall but not like elevated if that makes sense and then i cluttered it up also using like the watch from the everyday clutter kit because i was thinking yes you craft jewelry but also maybe they can craft like the watches for some reason i don't know i was thinking that and it also plays down basically this it's a, it's like a jewelry older from the everyday clutter kit and was thinking that maybe those are some of the jewelry that they crafted i love how like you can use different kits and different packs with another pack like how well they go together i really love this thing and then i also decided to place down another shelf on the wall but i decided to basically leave it empty because i was thinking that if you decided to download this house maybe you want some empty space where you can basically place down all your jewelry that you craft so i decided to leave that shelf empty so maybe you are going to you know place in the shelf all the jewelry that you you made and then as you can see right now i'm furnishing the dining room but before kind of furnishing the dining room i remembered what i wanted to do on the outside so i kind of went back to the outside of the build and i placed down some of those things that i forgot to place down and one thing is basically this table that your sims can use to like i think showcase all the jewelry that they had crafted because that table comes with the crystal creations stuff bag and basically you can stock up that table with i think all the jewelry that your sims had crafted but for some reason when i was trying to play test that table it wouldn't work and i don't mean that it wasn't functional i mean that it wouldn't let me stock up the table so i would like you know craft a jewelry piece and then i would try to stock up the table basically and it wouldn't let me so i don't really know how you do it so in case you download this house maybe you can try to do it and also i decided to clutter that table up with some crystals some other random things and in case that table is not functional because of the clutter you can just delete the clutter but because i don't know if the clutter that i placed down on the table affects the gameplay part of the table so I'm not really sure because I couldn't play test it because it wouldn't let me do it for some reason. I don't know. So if you know how it works, please let me know. But anyway, also in the front of the house, I decided to place down this 
logs that are from the outdoor retreat game pack because I saw them and I was like maybe I can place them down in the in the front of the house or like on the outside I think they look so well you know with the kind of the bushes and all the flowers but anyway as you could see before I just did the dining room and in the dining room I decided to go for this table from the base game and the chairs that I used are from the paranormal stuff pack I believe and then I also decided to go for this china cabinet from the cottage living expansion pack and then basically in the dining room I'm also going to place down the cut tree and the cut balls off screen as I said before and I decided to go for like bricks in the dining dining room because I don't know I really like the idea of having bricks in dining room I thought that it I don't know for some reason the bricks make the dining room feel a little bit more cottagey so that's why I decided to go for that brick from the Realm of Magic game pack and I also decided to use a lot of plants in that room because I want to, I don't know, I wanted to add a lot of plants in this house because they are just perfect for me for a spellcaster spellcaster who's into potion making who's into jewelry crafting I don't know why I have this idea that spellcaster really loves you know plants and nature so that's why i decided to use the a lot of plants in this house and basically in every room i'm going to use the curtains with all the leaves also here in the kids room i decided to use it because i don't know it looks so good i love it and whenever i have the chance to use it i always always use it so as you can see right now i moved on into the kids room and in the kids room as you can see i decided to use the new wallpaper in that blue swatch i love the color scheme in this room and i decided to go for this bed from seasons and i thought that this bed looked so good with the wallpaper and then I decided to use the side table from also the Crystal Creations stuff pack. And then I basically placed down these like modular pieces from high school years. And on, on them, basically on these pieces, I placed down some like random stuff. I cluttered them up with like some board games and some other things. And then I also decided to place down like a fireplace because basically the, the room is where the chimney is. So I thought that it was a must to have a fireplace, but I didn't want to have like a proper fireplace. So I placed down this fake fireplace from the base game. And then I placed down some toys. I also placed down this like vampire teddy bear i really like it and because it's like in the same color as the bed and then i also placed down the doll house from the base game but it's not like the normal doll house it's like the castle one and i really like it and i also placed down the closet from i think the for rent ep and i think that's pretty much it for that room i really like it i also used the new rug in that room but as you can see right now i moved on into the mom's room so here as you can see i used the wallpaper from the new pack again but i really like it i love it so much so I used it basically everywhere and in this room I decided to go for the realm of magic bed because I I don't think that I've ever used that bed before I really like that bed but I never had the chance to use it so I thought that this house was perfect for this bed I really like it so I decided to use it and I went for this watch which is like purple and black and white and I really like how it looks with the wallpaper and then I also used the side tables from the paranormal stuff pack and again never used that table before but I thought it looked very good with the bed as well and then I paired them with this chest of drawers from I think parenthood and this is chest of drawers that I mentioned before that basically I had a problem with I mean a very small problem I just have to move it a little bit more against the wall and then I placed down a radiator from the forend EP but I love how this big window looks in this room I thought 
it looks so good and then i also placed down the desk from the crystal creations stuff pack i was about to say game pack sorry and i really like that desk because i think it's perfect for you know a home office or an office and i really like the kind of the style of it and i really like the fact that in this house we have like a workshop room where you can craft your own jewelry i'm obsessed honestly with that room but and also in the other room like in the mom's room i placed down the new couch and a mirror and as you can see right now i am furnishing the only bathroom of this house so in this bathroom i decided to go for this bathtub from the i, th I was about to say for rent but it's horse ranch ep and I also decided to use the sink from the full rent actually EP and I placed down the cat litter box. I also decided to place down some candles next to the bathtub but I think that we've reached the end of the video so I'm gonna end this voiceover right here. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel and I hope that I'm gonna see you in my next speed build video. Bye!